Morning, Alan. Thank you for coming out to the farm. Morning, Vicky. It's good to see you. Alan, I'd really like some advice about establishing Phalaris. Okay, Vicky. The first thing to remember about Phalaris is it's a slow establishing perennial species. It can take up to 21 days to germinate in late autumn. Wow, that's really slow. What can I do to assist that establishment? It's really important that we get our weeds under control in the years prior to planting, and we look to correct any pH issues in the soil and get our soil fertility up. When I'm sowing, do I need to sow with any particular fertiliser, do any in-paddock sprays pre-sowing? Yeah, it's important that we plant with a starter fertiliser. It's also worth considering having the seed treated with a systemic insecticide, such as Poncho Plus, or a fungicide like Evergold Extend. These will help to protect our seedlings from insect and disease attack. Wow, and do I need to fully cultivate a seed bed or can I use a direct drill? You can use either method. Direct drill will reduce weed seed germinations, but you do need to increase your sowing rates. A cultivated seed bed makes an ideal seed bed, but you may disturb weed seeds within the soil. Phalaris is a small seed, so we do need to make sure that we don't sow any deeper than about five to 10 millimetres. We also need to be very careful that we get good seed to soil contact. Alan, what seedling density are we aiming for? Uh, with Phalaris, we're looking to go into our first summer with 30 to 50 plants per square metre. Coming out of that summer into autumn, we're looking to get 15 to 20 plants to establish. Phalaris is a species that can grow to quite a large plant, and so we do have lower plant populations than with some other species. Once my seedlings have emerged, do I need to look for weed control at that point? Grass weed control options will be limited, and that's why we need to get our weeds under control prior to planting. Broadleaf weeds can be controlled once the subclove has passed its three trifoliate leaf stage. Best to consult your local agronomist for that information. Wonderful. And grazing management, what are the recommendations in that first um, spring heading into summer? Our grazing in our first year is going to be limited. There may be the opportunity as we head into late summer. It's very important for Phalaris to persist through it developing crown buds. This requires the plant to go to head to encourage crown buds to develop, and these will be the buds that will help carry the Phalaris through in future years. I'd heard that the seed head was really important to persistence. Once that's um, emerged, can I graze that pasture over the summer after that? Yes, once that seed has, has emerged, then the pasture can be grazed uh, following that process, as it will have set that crown bud. Once we've got good establishment after that first summer, how do I graze my Phalaris stand from there? Assuming we've got subclover in with our Phalaris, we need to graze down that biomass in the autumn so that we have bare soil which will allow the subclover to germinate. I'm presuming the Phalaris needs that nitrogen in the system that clover delivers? That's correct, yeah. Phalaris is a high user of nitrogen and therefore having it in a mix with subclover is really important. Alan, thank you for coming out here this morning. A lot to remember, but really useful. No worries, Vicky. Glad to help. And I look forward to seeing how Phalaris can fill your autumn feed gap. Wonderful, thank you. Pleasure. Grow with confidence. Insist on the yellow bag. Barrenbrug, our seeds available at all quality outlets.